I'm Kristen with PRI. I'm here with Bill Tishner at Holly Performance Products. Now, Bill, can you tell me a little bit about some of the new products you have on display here this year? Uh, sure can. We've got a lot of new stuff here. Obviously, the, we're a racing company. Um, got a lot of new products, new carburetors, and our new Gen 3 Ultra Dominator up to 1,475 CFM. Uh, Jason Line uh, did great with it this year in Pro Stock. He was one of the early guys in Pro Stock to test it out. Uh, won a race, lots of, uh, lots of good ETs going with that. We're announcing a new, brand new two barrel Ultra HP carburetor to, re to replace our popular 4412 that's in nearly any two barrel circle track racing sanctioning body. We've got it now in our race ready HP without a choke horn, race ready features, linkage, billet metering block. We're working to get that all uh, legalized in as many racing sanctioning bodies as we can. Uh, showing our fuel injection here too. Uh, we've got uh, Tom Bailey's Hot Rod Drag Week car. It's the quickest, uh, fastest uh, street car in the world. Ran six seconds at five tracks and drove from track to track with our fuel injection. Uh, just a lot of exciting stuff going on. And what are your goals being here at the trade show? What do you hope to accomplish by exhibiting? This is a great show for us. You know, these are the most hardcore customers that we could have. Engine builder shops, racers are here. Our warehouses that stock our products are here. Um, the media is here covering the event. You know, it's just a great place for us to show everything that we have that's important to racing in one spot and do, do a lot of business in one place. And what kind of connections do you make being here? You know, we find new, new uh, speed shops, new engine builders, new jobbers. Uh, just show them what's new and hopefully they'll become a Holly customer. And how's your experience been being back in Indy this year? Well, I can tell you, you know, it's kind of what's happening is what I expected would happening would, would happen. A lot of guys that uh, used to drive to this show would not make the drive to Orlando or they're coming back, you know, the smaller shops and racers that, that want to drive from uh, the northeast, they'll make the trek here. Um, pretty easily they'll brave the snow and even come here but they may not have wanted to drive to Orlando so they're all back the show seems just crazy as ever and you know back to the same old Indy mm -hmm. so and what does that say about the state of the market right now well I'll tell you you know racing is a hard market to kick down anyway even when things are bad you know racing gets in people's blood and it's a bit of an addiction and so uh, those guys are always out there, but you know now that we're, gonna, we're just expecting to see more of them here now that it's in Indy and it's more centrally located and more people can drive to get here. Just, and we can already tell that from today. For those who maybe haven't ever been to a PRI trade show, how would you describe it to them? Um, the mecca for racing. You know, you want to see everything and anything racing in one place. Every key manufacturer, any part you could imagine is here for your race car, you know. Um, if you've got the ability to, to get into the show, you need to be here. Thank you so much for your time. This is Kristen with PRI, and good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank you.